Peace and blessings everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead guys. Today we are down here with the Okros. Okay, now one of the things that we're going to be talking about, the reason why we prune our Okros here on the homestead. Now, before we get into it guys, I am telling you, I am coming down here every day to harvest Okros. Now, you know that is one of the things with these Okros here. Uh, you come in and harvest. Uh, you're going to be coming up, coming back out tomorrow to harvest again. And if you all can see right now that we are here, look at this. See that? They are flowering. And just know that when you see those flowers coming out in about, a, about two days or so, you're going to be coming in to harvest that okra right there. Now, our pollinators, they have been real active down here pollinating, and that is good. Also, we have quite a bit of hens that are coming up from down off the ground quite onto a bit the of what? pot. Ants. Oh, okay. Yes, what did I say? Hands. Hands? Yeah. I said ants. Okay. But nonetheless, guys, come on down. We're going to show you what we're going to be doing here today. Uh, as far as pruning our okros, now, the reason why we prune our okros here on the homestead, simple reason why we don't want, well, one of the reasons why we don't want our okra plant to be so bushy to where that it is shading out the neighboring plant next to it, okay? So now that is one of the reason why we come on in and prune and also that way it, e it is easy for us to get inside of those rows and get out of those rows. And with pruning, the benefit also with pruning the okros, it makes you be able to spot the okros very easily, okay? Now last year we did prune our okros, but we did plant our okros uh, way closer than we have them here this year, all right? Now, one of the things when you get ready to prune your okra, what you want to do, once these plants first start um, bringing out leaves, uh, what will happen, they will also bring forth suckers as well. Now this is a sucker that I prune uh, later on down when they were starting to, uh, you know, take off. All right, now it is good to get that sucker out of here because what will happen, that sucker will simply start branching off like that and your okra plant will get real bushy. All right, and so we take those suckers off now. What is going on here up in the heart of this okra plant here as y'all can see. That is the beauty about okros and why you get okros just about every day. Uh, once this plant, I'm going to start right here at this top. Now you see this okra right here. Uh, you can see you have a pod here that already been pollinated and shut. And you have another one. So by tomorrow this one probably will be open up. Now you see that, that is another okra, that is another okra. And on and on, if you can look in here, you can see a whole bunch of buds and all of those right there will be okra as this plant grow, all right? Now right in here, um, what we are going to do right now, uh, like I said, whenever we come in and harvest this okra that is ready, right here where this leaf is, we simply go ahead and cut that out now I'm using the scissors typically I will come on in with a shear and and pluck that but also we take that okra off right there all right now if you come on out here you don't have a shear you can simply also also as well uh, you could come on in baby you can go ahead and pluck that leaf just like that and really you won't be hurting your okra plant simple reason why okros they are real hardy plants they are real tough plants as long as you're not disturbing the roots of the okra plant it will do just fine okay um i hope i was clear um you know bringing to you guys why we harvest well why we prune our okra plants and you know you prune them that also helps to bring more energy to the plants more energy to your um, your fruits as well. All right, but none of the less, guys. Uh, 
Did I miss anything, baby? No, we need to get the harvesting. We need to get the harvesting. Yes, uh, there's plenty of okras out here that yes. is and ready to too. be harvested. Um, but nonetheless, I pray you all took something away from this video here. Coming on out here, pruning our okra plants. Yes, prune your okra plants. Um, unless you have just one okra plant planted, you could let it go ahead and bush out because sometimes those uh, sucker that comes out would also bring more okros as well. But because we have it planted so dense here and so many, you want to prune them that way that sunlight can touch just about all the okros that way. And I will show you exactly what I'm talking about here. I know I was getting ready to close out the video, but sometimes you know that you're missing something and you want to bring it along just to show. But if you look right here, you see, and now that is one of the reasons, don't know how this one right here fell down, but that is the reason why when you plant your okros close together like this, why it's important to prune your okros. Now this okro is the same age as these one here, but even right here, as you can see, this was a seed that germinated real late, mm. and look at that. It's not doing anything because it has been shaded out by the older okras, which they're all the same age. They were all planted all the same. All planted at the same time, but mm -hmm. look at that. And that is why it is important to prune your okras. Now this, this plant here, yes, I am going to go ahead and pull them out. Simple reason why. They wouldn't not, catch up with They them. won't catch up, they yeah. won't do anything, all right? And so guys, uh, I know I was missing something, but that is it right there. Just want to say thanks to each and every one of y'all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one of you guys out there. Throw that thumbs up, like, subscribe, and also share this video with someone. Have a blessed day.